Hi, I'm 8pack and I'm here to discuss how to install the heatsink and the memory into one of my X399 bundles. So in front of us here on the on the table we've got uh, the ASRock motherboard, the ASRock X399 Tai Chi, CPU installed firmly in the socket. We've got the Acer Tech uh, 240 cooler here uh, and the mounting bracket which comes with every AMD Threadripper CPU here and obviously our sticks of uh, Dark Pro memory there. We've got a screwdriver which is not absolutely essential, thermal grizzly thermal paste uh, and the PCB cleaner uh, which is actually for, for where, from where we start to be honest. So here on the bottom of the Acer Tech cooler we've got this uh, this small amount of paste which obviously is not going to be enough anywhere near to cover this die. I mean the whole cooling head of the Aztec cooler only covers about 60 to 70 percent of the of the uh, IHS over the dies here but it's covering most of the actual dies themselves underneath the IHS to make sure of good cooling but there's nowhere near enough paste here uh, and obviously it's of lower quality than our thermal grizzly which is the market leading paste at the moment with the cryonaut there. So let's first clean this this paste off that comes with the cool one. I'm just going to do that with a, a lint rag here. So just give it a little bit of a bit of a rub. It does come off in a few little bits. So if you want to just make sure they don't go into the memory slots or anything on the motherboard while you're cleaning it. And I've got the PCB cleaner. You don't have to do this, but just a quick spray to make sure it's absolutely clean and ready to go. Okay. So there we go. A nice shiny finish. So once we've done that, we're going to apply thermal grizzly paste uh, to the to the IHS on the CPU and what I'm going to do is across pretty much dead center a few little extra blobs what I want to do obviously when I do mount the head is that the paste spreads out and pushes any air out to stop the cooling being inefficient okay once I've done that the orientation of the brackets going to be this way with the fat end if you like facing down the motherboard and the thinner end here at the top of the TR4 socket where I'm stood. Okay, so there's hooks on here on the mounting bracket itself, and then there's uh, little inserts here on the head for where those hooks should go. So we just push it in. Okay, once they're in, just hold it in place, turn it round, get the screws nicely in line, just a couple of turns first, and then I tend to tighten them up in order, just moving round. I'm going to use the screwdriver on this one. That's better. So the screwdriver really is just to finish off the job. A couple of turns, really tighten them down. You can't really over tighten the screws because once they're, they're as far as they can go, that's about it. Okay, so they're all nice and tightened up. Like I say, you can't over tighten with this. But once they are touching the standoffs perfectly, that means that the correct amount of pressure is on the AIO here and causing that contact pressure on the IHS. Here we've got the AIO uh, header or cooler uh, power for the pump. Uh, on the ASUS board, the pump header goes here, just by the top PCI Express slot. On this uh, ASRock board, it goes up here by this uh, four pin connector. So we'll plug that in there. Obviously you want to place the the AIO cooler either at the front of the case here with the fans blowing through the radiator here uh, and then obviously hopefully have fan here to exhaust or indeed some fans in the roof to exhaust the hot air out or otherwise you can place it in the roof of the case again with the fans blowing through the radiator uh, ideally the static pressure fans that we provide with the bundle would be great just pushing through making sure that the the uh, hot air is then exhausted out of the case and all the heat taken away. Okay, so that's your options for, for the placing of the radiator. Finally, let's look at installing the memory. First, for the 32 gig install, we install a stick in the uh, closest to the 24 pin. Then we miss a slot and install a stick. And on the other side, again, closest to the I.O. so here and then we miss a stick and same again and this, in, this means that the four channels are all filled with one dim and four channel operation is working perfectly if we want to go obviously to 64 gig of 8 gig sticks we'll just install the sticks in the channels not covered by our first install okay so that's basically how to install the cooler and the memory on it either of my X399 bundles. 
If you want to buy the bundles, obviously go to uh, the Overclockers website. For further information on anything to do with the support of the bundles, go to our forums. And that's all from me for today. I'm 8-Pack. Goodbye. <laughs>